Hey, fifth and sixth grade, Mrs. Fondra here to talk about this week's bell ringer. This week, it is all about movement. Now, I know you know how to move yourself and move, but how does that apply to art? Let's talk about it, all right? So if you open up your bell ringer today, I can share this tab with you. You'll see this piece of art with lots of lines and shapes doing stuff. It's a big abstract piece of art. You can't really tell what's going on in it. So my first question for you is kind of more for fun. It says, what do you think is moving in this painting? Which, might, which if you simplify it means, what is this a painting about? Okay, so just take a guess. What is the thing in this painting? All right, um, it has to be some sort of a noun, a person, place, or thing. If you just say it looks like shiny, that's not a thing. Okay, so give me an object. What is that thing? The second part gets into what movement really is and is what I'm asking for. Because movement in art is how your actual eyes are moving around a piece of work. Okay, so the question says, um, copy and paste and begin with, this piece has movement because my eyes start blank. When you're looking at this piece of art, where do your eyes start looking? Okay, do they stop at the top? Do they start in the bottom? Do they start in the left, in the center? Where are your eyes starting? Think of an actual location. Because then it says they end up looking blank. Okay, because your eyes are moving around trying to figure out what is happening in this painting. Okay, so for filling in the blanks, you're really talking about a direction. My eyes start here and they end up blank. Like, where are your eyes looking around? Because your brain is trying to figure out what's happening. So your eyes are moving around it. All right, some paintings definitely have more movement than others. Um, like, for example, this painting has so much going on that your eyes are moving a lot. If it would just be a painting of a person, you probably look straight into the person in the painting's eyes because humans like to look at each other's eyes. And then you'd look at the face and then you'd look at the background. You work from like face to back because your brain is wired to look at that way for movement. All right. So if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, not quite sure, let me know. But hopefully that helps you out with the bell ringer this week. Happy typing.